What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Kicking It With Kachi, where we highlight individuals that are really taking the industry by film. Today, we got musical artist Guapo coming out of Fayetteville. That's what my brother's for. That Yo, from the South, man. What's going on? Straight from the dirty, dirty South. How you doing? What's good? What's good? Niggas doing good, man. Of course, you're looking good. You're looking good. You got the ice on you. Hands looking nice and twisted. Yeah. You're looking good. Looking good. <laughs> So obviously, like I said, people and people uh, may not know, but I know right now you are a musical, musical artist, right? So let's get back to the beginning. What kind of sparked, what kind of started this idea of creating a career right out of music and really pushing forward with it? I mean, shit, my big brother and shit like that, he always been doing music and the music and shit. He's he a little DJ and shit like that. So goddamn, being around him and shit like that, that influenced me and shit like that. So I first started making beats and shit like that when I was like a freshman back in high school. Mm-hmm. So then I was like, shit, I'm tired of making these beats. I just want to rap on these bitches. Right, Trying to get right. pussy and shit like that with beats is hard as hell. So I was like, fuck it, I'm about to rap on my own shit. So I started rapping on my own shit and then I just started using other people's shit. And then that's mm-hmm, how I got my mm-hmm. And I would say like, what type of uh, musical influence, because coming from producer, it comes to rapper, isn't the easiest of thing, right? Like you can have one talent for one thing, and then you gotta learn a whole yeah. different thing to try and go you know, <laughs> and get on the beat. So, did you kind of have like I know you said your brother's a big influence. What other influences either in the in- industry or even people around you kind of made you, uh, I guess, craft and you know create the sound that you have now? I mean, shit, I be listening to a lot of goddamn underground artists and shit like that, like right, like, right, right, right. and autumn and shit like that, like future and shit like that. People like them, yeah, they really like craft my shit for. I be looking up them type beats and stuff like that. And then, in terms of like you know coming in back in to your music before to music now, right? A lot of singles this year, twenty twenty three. You got freaking cheat code, really high, geeking on them. Don't geek like us, fraudulent. All these music, so and you. You got you got hundreds of songs in the vault already know, right? So yeah, yeah. what's the day to day like with the music? How how often are you are you making music on a day to day basis? Goddamn, I'm making shit every fucking day. I'm pumping out at least one two songs a day. I'm making shit every day. I be bored as hell. Just make a song, make a song. Just pumping shit out easy as hell. And in terms of like the music that you put out, then like outside of all your hundreds of songs, which one do you choose to be like? All right, that's the banger. That's the one that's going out. That's when I gotta push. I mean, shit, I just go through my files and shit like that, and I just be listening to my shit. And whichever one really sound the hardest and shit like that, I'm like, all right, I'm going to push this one right now. Make some more shit. Be like that. The same ones every single time. And I yet? No no album yet? No EP yet? Is that coming on the uh, work? Is that nah, something that we nah. got to look forward to? Or <laughs> you more I like mean, a single guy? I'm more of a single guy, for real. I ain't going to lie, because, like... Shit, I'll probably drop an EP in a few months. I don't know. Okay, probably okay, for a okay. or some shit like that. I'll drop an EP on some shit. Okay, okay. And then in terms of like the music to kind of get to know you, like what are some singles as people watching this interview, right? They want to, you know, really tap in with your sound. What songs do you think maybe top five, in your opinion, you think are best indicative of, you know, getting to know you and getting to know Guapo? Awesome shit. Like my sound, shit, it's really crap around that underground song. So like my song's like really hot and shit like that. Right, really yeah. Cool. Them is my main songs that like is really my sound and like sick hits and shit like that. That's really my right. sound, for real. And obviously, like speaking of your sound, like you switch it all the way up with Drill Time, right? Like Hell you got yeah. the you got the wavy <laughs> rock star vibe, right? And then you just went yeah. crazy with the drill shit. So was that like intentional? Was that just playful? You like, yo, people coming out with the drill, they don't think I could do it. Show me <laughs> get real versatile with it. Or, is that something I mean, that we should be expecting, you know? Yeah. Okay. That's the main thing. I just want to show niggas I'm versatile. I can do it all for real. So it don't okay. matter. Feel, so is that something more that we should we should be looking out for? Maybe you might get on like a Paramore sample. Maybe you're going to start singing a little bit. All for shit. <laughs> okay, okay. And obviously, you from North Kakalaki, right? Like, the, yeah. South got, the South got some of the biggest artists that we've done seen in hip-hop. So how yeah. has being in the environment that you are, me in North Carolina, he me from Fayetteville. You you out there in the boonies. Like that's where my that's my brother from. So I, I, oh, know, it's, I know Yeah, I know it's I know it's country out there. So yeah, being yeah. out there, right, and and create and creating music and creating a sound for yourself, how has that environment kind of shaped you and kind of allowed you to really, you know, be a representative for your city? I mean, shit, it's a little bit hard to be honest with you for real, cause like niggas don't really be fucking with that underground type of sound. Right, right, right. I right. travel out to different places and different states and shit like that and promote my shit for real. 
and show my shit all over the place other than just my shit and shit like that. Cause right, right. my face mm-hmm. ain't really gonna fuck with my shit too much. Right. So how how has the uh reception I guess felt when you go elsewhere and people are are messing with your music a little bit more than people at home? Has that kind of like boosted your confidence? Even though like like I said, Hell you yeah. are the boony, so you you, <laughs> got you yourself and I out there. For real though, yeah. I mean, shit, I get a lot of love from more than really outside of my city, for real. Yeah, I get more right. love outside of the city than in the city, to be honest with you. Hell yeah. And then in terms of like, you know, moving forward, like fashion and shit, I know you out there, like, you be mild, you be taking pictures, you be you be stepping yeah. and shit. So is that <laughs> something as well that, you know, that you want to kind of bring into the brand as well? Maybe a fashion yeah, yeah. line or work a little bit more on, you know, the aesthetic idea of, uh, of the brand? Yeah, like Geek Mafia, that's some shit me and my nigga made. So that's like really our group name and shit like that. So we Man, gonna right. make clothing brand in the near future and shit like that for real. And I see, and going through your going through your thing, a lot of your a lot of your music is in collaboration with people that you work with, you know, multiple times. Like obviously like Geek Mafia, right? So how did that um how did that collective sort of start and what is the mission behind, you know, coming together as a collective like that? I mean, shit, so it was really happy with my nigga Zeno, my nigga Slime, you know? So, mm-hmm. goddamn, me and him, we started linking up and shit like that. And we started just pushing out music, pushing out music, making music and shit like that. We been making music at it since, like, since I was in, like, 10th grade and all some shit. So we been making music, pushing out music, pushing out music. We were like, all right, now it's time to start out with, like, a group name. We got a little group of rappers in our city and shit like that. We got a group of people we fuck with and shit like that. So we was like, we got to come up with a name. And that's the name we came up with. We was going to roll with that shit. That's tough. And that's tough. And now, getting to a little bit more of the non-collaborative side, you done dropped a, a diss to some guy named Jay Woe. What was the beef with that? What did Jay Wo do to you, man? What what did he do to you to make you to make you done burn his picture in the music video and everything? Man, that shit was crazy. I ain't gonna lie, what happened for real? He had niggas. It happened like in January and shit like that. He had niggas riding around in a stolen car and shit like that. And a stolo and niggas got pulled on New Year's and shit. So goddamn, I had like a QP on me. I had a QP of weed on me, and then mm-hmm. twelve pulled us over. They talking about some oh. Driver, get out of the car. Everybody had to get out of the car and shit. So I stuffed the QP under the seat. And then they had the dogs, everything. They went searching. Oh, wow. the car. They found the gas. That nigga did not tell us that was a stolo. So goddamn, hell yeah, niggas went to court and shit like that. Nigga went to jail, nigga went to court and shit. And I found out that nigga was lying and shit like that. So that nigga went to goddamn a college and shit. I ain't gonna say the name of the college. That's OD. But he went yeah, to right. college. So then I thought I found that shit out. I said the college. And I beat the fuck out of that nigga. Wow. I had to do what I had to do. And then right out the court, I made that song and I dropped that shit ASAP. And then speaking of like a lot of these real life stuff in music is that um, a lot of people feel like, you know, as us as, as the consumers of music, we feel like it's snitching or it's talking too much in your past. But for you, I guess it's like, it's a therapy in a way. Like you don't have to keep, you know, yeah. crashing out. Posting up outside his dorm, like you can just post a song. Is that kind of what the what the feeling is like, and kind of getting those emotions out there on the music? Hell yeah, and it's just like on some shit, like letting niggas know like what niggas did and shit like that. And ever since I dropped that shit, hell of niggas hit me up on Instagram, da da da, telling me shit that he did to them and shit like that. So it was like, damn, that nigga really was a slimy ass nigga for real. <laughs> that shit. And crazy. then you know, and then getting into more positive, back to the positive, like what's been your favorite places to kind of travel to and perform or connect with people or you know kind of you know get your mind right with the music i really like atlanta atlanta that's that shit. right next door to you right <laughs> <laughs> for real that's it right there atlanta for sure though 100 percent. and then now what sort of highlights have you had like you know what i'm saying like i feel like there's always a moment uh in every creative career where they're like yo there's a moment where like yo like i can really do this like it just boosts them with so much confidence they just feel like a lot of hard work has paid off, and they finally got to seeing something that's kind of keeping them going. So, have you had that moment yet for you? Where like, yo, I, I'm, I'm a rapper. I'm, I'm. This is me. This is what I'm doing, and it's real. It's not just a fantasy now in your head. Hell yeah, I had that moment. Shit, I had that moment a couple of times for real. Like one time, like, cause I ain't used to be Guapo. I had to rebrand everything. I used mm-hmm. to be like, B e Baby. That used to be my name. And when I was back under that name, I got signed under a label under Billy Records and shit like that. So I signed right, right. Records. It was like for a year. When I signed that shit, I was like, oh shit, niggas starting to notice me. I can go somewhere. Right, right, right. And then 
it happened when like my song hit like 30k in like the first week i was like oh shit all right let me let me, let me pump my shit <laughs> yeah right right and then for a musical artist how often do you care about views and care about likes or care about attention now that you're making music has does that really affect the artistry a little bit does it affect the rollout or how you put certain songs out or the type of song that you put out yeah, it really affects the type of song and shit like that. I see people fucking with goddamn one type of song more. I'm gonna make more of them, more of them type of songs and shit right, like that. Right, 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 right. Better than the others. And what type of music is, I guess, easier for you? I know you just dropped that drill time, but you definitely do have a lot more melodic verses as opposed to a lot more like rager verses as well. Like, what sort of music, I guess, do you find is easiest for you to come for you to create? And what type of music is the most fun for you to create and kind of experiment and challenge yourself with? Them goddamn them melodic shits. Like, I feel like I can come up with hella flows on them shits and just try mm -hmm. different shits. But I really be fucking with that shit. That shit be fun as hell, for real. And then, you know, before we head out of here, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I don't want to take too much of your time. It's a Friday. You know, you got the ice. I don't want you to, you know, keep the ladies waiting too long. But <laughs> what, can we, what can we look forward to? Like you said, an EP may come in the beginning of the year. But obviously, like, there may be some on the horizon that we definitely should be looking out for. What else should we be, you know, expecting from you as, you know, as a brand and as an artist? Shit, a clothing brand for sure. That's coming soon. The next like three months, niggas really got to tap in for that. And I got a new single dropping. Shit, probably next Friday for real with a new video too. I stay pumping out these videos, pushing out these music videos. So goddamn, really stay tuned to that. And do you like being in the? You like making music videos more, or do you prefer like that that mode of just being in the studio, headphones in, and you just in your zone? Shit, I've been fucking with making the music videos for real. That's all my shoot. That should be fun as hell for real. No cap. Do you have a favorite one as well? Like I said, I always I got the favorite songs. What what music videos should we listen? Should we watch and try and you know try and get a taste of your personality now and try and get to know that, you better. That J Wo did so hundred percent. That <laughs> yeah, five, man, that was the funnest shoot. No cap, man. <laughs> I, I went to J Wo page, man. He only got two pictures up, man. I'm like, damn, he done ended this man's career already before he even started, man. No cap, no cap. <laughs> but nah, that's tough, and that's tough. And definitely, thank you for coming by and like, you know, talking to me. Do you have anything else you want to share with your fans? Let's just know like a little bit more about you, any updates, any events, anything that you want us to, you know, just be mindful of when it comes to Guapo, the rapper, the artist, and even the person. Shit, it's really just stay tuned to the music for real. I ain't gonna lie, this shit really speak for itself. Nah, that's hard. And, and it's honestly speaking, like, just like Guapo said, like, you guys can check out all his music on Apple Music, Spotify, SoundCloud as well. Check out his music videos on YouTube as well. Those just are fire, fire, fire. Make sure you tap in with my boy Guapo. And make sure you guys check him out on Instagram as well. That's G-W-X-P-O-T-F. That's Guapo. Oh, sorry. Guapo F-T-W. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. G-W-X-P-O F-T-W. It's a lot of letters. Sorry. <laughs> but... <laughs> That is the Instagram. Make sure you check out my boy because he is blowing up and blowing up fast. And he will leave you whether or not you're on the train. Whether or not you guys are on the train. Thank you, Guapo, for coming by once again. Or kicking with Kachi and kicking me, brother. Like, it was good to just get a piece of your story before you really blow up and really take this world by storm. I know it's going to happen for you because the music is fire. Vacation is there. All you need is the time, my brother. I appreciate you, son. Of course, of course. And you guys can check out this amazing episode at the DC Voice on YouTube and Instagram as well. You can check out me at Kasta.Analyst on Instagram. Once again, check out my boy Guapo on all the streaming platforms right now, right now, right now, right now, because my boy will leave you when the success is coming up. Make sure you get on the train. That's G-W-X-P-O-F-T-W on Instagram to connect with him. And make sure you are just also tap in because he's open for collaborations as well. Thank you once again, Guapo, for coming and kicking my brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you have a great night, man. Two times.